Banzai! This video is sponsored by Hobby Comps. So guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, we have got this FTX Banzai. We have got this FTX Banzai, which is a one temp scale drift car. It looks really nice. So we're gonna get it on the bench. We're gonna give it a bit of a drift run. And then I think I'm gonna swap the wheels over to some road wheels, because I really wanna see how well it actually goes as just a normal like touring car as well. Anyway, let's get it on the bench. So in the box, you get a set of instructions. In there is a charger, an aerial, and a bind plug, and some stickers. They're probably the rest that are left over from what's already on the body. You get a e-tronics transmitter. Not bad, these are quite, has it got eight or four batteries? Ugh. Eight, eight AA batteries. It's got all the functions you need, steering trim, throttle trim, and steering jewel rate as well. Doesn't look bad, just a bit big. I don't like big and bulky transmitters, but I'm sure it does the job. You also get this 1800 milliamp hour uh, nickel metal hydride battery. Most of the FTX range actually come like 99% ready to run. So you just have to supply your batteries for your transmitter. But most of them, if not all of them, come with a battery so you can get straight out and start playing. At the price point, this has got a lot of cool features. Let's bring you a little bit closer. Let's get the body off and let's look at what's underneath. Body feels pretty nice. I like that it's got clear windows as well. That's a nice little touch to it. Graphics look good. <laughs> Mismo. KSH, cool number plate. Not sure, not sure the uh, EU flag is correct anymore. No, we're not talking about that sort of stuff on this channel. So we've got a 20 turn 540 motor. Looks like it's relatively high geared. A slipper clutch in there. Notice this is all open, so I won't be running this on any sort of rough uh, ground or anything like that where you're gonna get dirt and stones in. It says it's got a waterproof ESC. It looks relatively open there, but you shouldn't, there shouldn't be any reason to put this through water, but anyway, waterproof steering servo. There's your receiver there. So fully hobby grade electronics, everything can be changed, upgraded, etc. Nice anodized metal drive shaft going through the center there onto that slipper clutch. Adjustable oil shocks front and rear. It has got metal gears, shows pictures on the box of the metal gears. Plastic drift wheels, say plastic, they're either plastic or very hard rubber, but drift wheels all round. Nice foam front bumper on there. CVDs in the front there, bearings all round as well. So let's, so let's talk about this being a drift car. Now, let's get this straight out there. It's four wheel drive, which a lot of people aren't gonna like, because a lot of people disagree that four wheel drive is drifting. I mean, is it, isn't it? I guess, is it power sliding? I don't know. Is a gyro cheating when you're drifting? Is four wheel drive cheating? It doesn't matter. But just looking at it, I mean, it's even, Everything at the front's adjustable. You can adjust the camber, you can adjust the toe, so you can definitely get a bit of a better steering angle on it, because that's the other thing I was gonna mention. The steering angle isn't great for a drift car. The, the rear diff's open, not gonna be the ideal setup, but let's not discount it from being a decent car, and that's why I wanted to swap the wheels after we've done a bit of drifting with it, and just see what it's like as an RC car in general. Right, anyway, while the battery's charging, hobby comps. So Hobby Comps, if you've not heard of Hobby Comps, there's links in the description where you can see all the information you need. Basically, they give you the chance to win some really, really nice RC cars for a, sm a smelly, a very small amount of cash. Some of the tickets are gonna cost you a couple of coffees. Some of them might even cost you one. I'm not drunk all that. Oh, it's probably a bit cold now. Anyway, they have loads of stuff you can win. You should go check them out. They've had mad vans, Samia lunch boxes, a GR Yaris, mini crawlers, mini drift cars, and lots, lots more. So current competitions at the time of recording, Traxxas TRX4, the new Night Runner from Element. That thing looks awesome. Tamiya Grasshopper 2 Black Edition. You've got the Black Xeon Slayer, 1 16th scale. They are really good fun, them little trucks. You've got Herbeo Hyper VS, um, that's the roller some Lego Technic, a little pit mat. You can go on and see all the previous uh, competition winners. There's been 128 so far. So you can go on and look at all them and see what you could win in some of the upcoming competitions. It's 18 and over and it's UK only. Go check the links out in the description. If you do buy some tickets, remember to stick Tomley RC in on the discount code for 10% off. Right, let's give this thing a little drift. Right then, let's see if this thing can drift. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it can. 
Remember guys, no gyro, no lock diffs or anything like that. This can actually drift. Yes. <laughs> I knew, I knew it'd be all right. Oh yeah, look at that. Guys, I'm impressed with this. I didn't think it was gonna drift like that. Uh-oh, making marks on my floor. Ah, oh, crashed into my belt. Oh, it's making some, it's making some marks on my floor. I guess it's the hard plastic wheels. Easy to drift with two hands on the transmitter. <laughs> Let's try one handed. Not as easy. Clean lap. Come on, you got this. Yeah, that'd do. <laughs> That's good enough for a clean lap. Right, let's put some road wheels on it and let's see how it is as just a, like a normal touring car. So not only will it drift pretty well, it's actually pretty decent on normal road as well. It's a bit slippery out, it's been raining, so you can get it to drift as well on this surface. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So it's not the fastest thing. Remember, it is running the stock nickel metal hydride, so it's not going to be super quick. But what a cool little car. Well, I'm suitably impressed with this, especially for the price. I was unsure about it at first. Quite a few people asked me to get it in for review, so here it is. And it will go on my recommended list, no doubt about that. And even with them wheels on, we can still drift it on this surface. Not as easy to control, but... <laughs> yeah, well, I say not as easy to control. Made that look relatively easy, didn't I? Nice. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to run this battery down. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Check out Hobby Comps in the link below. And you never know, they might even have one of these on there you can win, I'm not sure. This goes on my big long list of recommended cars. It's an awesome thing. There's more information on this in the description as well. I'll see you next time. Spin it up.